Have you ever wondered the differences between A-Zone dolls and Obitsus? Before we get started, let's go ahead and give a quick shout out to today's affiliate. <laughs> this looks super pro. Let me tell you what it is. Sparklecase.com makes customized phone cases and they're like a hard uh, covering like shell for your phone. So uh, they sent me some, which I thought were super cool. So here's the first one they sent me. Um, I basically uploaded an image and uh, they were able to put it onto a phone case. See, that's got my, my logo on there and it says Dolly-tastic on it. When I got them in, I was like, whoa, what is this? Like the little card and then it has like a little wax seal. And so I'm gonna show you my other one that I got. And they have it for like pretty much any phones that are out there right now. These are for the um, Samsung Galaxy. And so this is the other one I got. It's real simple, has BJD Life on it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, feel free to check them out. That is thesparklecase.com. Please make sure you use the link down below if you are interested. Uh, use my coupon code, which is Ascenva. And yeah, hope you check them out. And if you're looking to get a personalized phone case, you don't have to look any further. So I feel like I've been doing like a, like an ongoing comparison series of the Obitsu dolls with other dolls in general. Um, I did one previously versus resin dolls. And then um, I also did a video with them versus the made to move Barbie, which is this one right here. Um, and it's just, I don't know why, I just feel like Obitsu dolls, they're really versatile and really cool and I think it's really neat to compare them to other dolls. Um, just so that way, if people are looking to find an affordable doll, um, you don't have to look that far. Like the Obitsu dolls, they, they offer so many different things. Now, today's competitor, I actually know how like zip about them. So I actually went out to a Facebook group that had a zone doll owners and I went ahead and I asked some questions to one of the professionals there because my knowledge of a zones is very limited. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go ahead and start comparing. A zone is a doll company that separated from a larger company back in 1998 and their first like doll that they came out with and I'm gonna probably butcher the name is it looks like it could be Sarah or S Sahara I'm not sure how it's pronounced but um, that was the first one that they came out with and it was like a smaller doll and then from there you know they started you know being adventurous and like making other ones and stuff so um, I think the thing that makes the A-Zone dolls really special is that they do happen to do a lot of collaborations with different animes and pop culture things so you'll find a lot of the A-Zones that will be like characterized as something. A-Zone dolls typically come in a you know, variety of sizes, but you'll see a lot of these smaller ones that look more like fashion dolls. Um, but they do actually, and this was like new to me too, they do actually offer like one third scale size dolls as well. The bodies are mainly made of like a PVC kind of material. Um, the heads are like a soft vinyl squishy uh, material. And um, for example, the one that I have here today, uh, she has rooted hair. Let's jump on over to Obitsu. So Obitsu is a large company. Um, they have been making toys and different things like that for a long time. Um, the company was actually found in 1966 and they're actually well known for a very popular doll called the Cupid doll. So if you know what that Cupid doll is or if you've seen it, um, that's that's Obitsu actually. So pretty neat. Um, they actually manufacture a lot of different uh, plastic items and um, provide casting services and things like that. Um, they're fairly large um, and they have so many different things that they do. But as far as the Obitsus are concerned, um, they make Obitsu dolls that range in a crazy amount of different sizes. I do happen to have a good amount of Obitsus. Um, they offer them in really tiny sizes like this one, which is an 11 centimeter, all the way up to, they used to have the one-third scale, which was like a 60 centimeter doll, but they don't 
to my knowledge, they don't carry that one anymore. They did recently release, I think it's like 120 centimeters, like a huge one um, that just came out. So that was pretty um, fantastic and really special that they did. But uh, they offer that and then they offer like a whole bunch of different bodies within the size categories as well. But the main gist is they are also made of like an ABS, kind of like a hard plastic material. Um, depending on which body types you get, they could be a majority of the body is made out of that hard plastic. There are also some bodies that offer like a soft vinyl bust um, and torso. And the heads are also made very similar to the A-Zone dolls out of a soft vinyl for the heads as well. So, price. When we are looking at Obitsus and A-Zone dolls, A-Zone dolls kind of vary in price. They can actually start anywhere off like from $100 all the way up to $500 if you're looking at the larger ones. Um, our Obitsu friends, they're very cafeteria style. You can pick and choose pieces and parts and stuff like that. A body can cost you like 30 bucks or so. Um, and if you tack on the other things as well, it could easily be like starting at like 60. If you're talking about the larger ones, um, which are kind of more familiar like in the BJD scene because they're um, usually grandfathered in like the Dolphy Dreams are, um, these girls uh, can start off like at 200 to 300 dollars. Oh, you can technically probably get a starter Obitsu doll cheaper than you can an A-Zone doll. Okay, what's up? Let's talk about customization. Obitsus are made to be customized. Like you literally can pick out, I don't even know how many heads there are. There is like, if you're looking at this size range with the with the smaller sized Obitsus, um, there's a whole bunch of different heads. You can choose out different wigs, um, whether you want it to have a, this girl has an open eye socket so that way you can go ahead and put in eyes. Or if you wanna practice layer painting, you can go ahead and get a head that does not have the open sockets. I mean, the list goes on and on. Like there's so much that you can um, get when, you, when you're when you going with uh, the Obitsu dolls. This is just another one here. So when we talk about the A zones, um, I, like I said, I don't know that much about A zones, but I spoke with one of the moderators from the A zone, like one of the largest A zone Facebook pages there, and they said that you can purchase blank bodies and heads to make your own DIY doll. Um, and then, of course, A zone offers like a whole bunch of clothes and things like that separately. I think a lot. Like what Azon does specialize in though is that they do like full sets. They do a lot of full set dolls. When you look at their website or when you look at people that, that sell them, they're typically like full set dolls. So that means, you know, they have the hair, they have clothing, you know, their face is already painted on there. According to the moderator, they said that you can purchase parts to make your own, but they did want to mention that in some lines that you can't. For example, you can't buy a blank one-fourth or one-third head from them. So one interesting fact that I had no idea about um, that I just learned was that apparently that Azon has been refreshing their pure Nemo bodies. Um, I don't know, I'll be honest with you, like I said, I, this one, this Azon that I got was a gift. So I'm not even quite 100% sure which one it is. I tried to kind of narrow it down and I think I came to the conclusion that the one that I had was some type of maybe Nemo, pure Nemo body. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but it does look very similar, especially when I look at the, sho the, the shoulder area, um, which we'll take a look at the two bodies side by side here in just a second. But they had said, kind of funny and interesting. Um, that they've been trying to refresh the Pure Nemo bodies for a while and their releases are all over the place, but some are actually collabs with Obitsu. So some of them will have the old body and some of them will have a new body that was the collaboration. Um, another really interesting kind of fact was that uh, she mentioned that they also are starting to do more of the eye hole head, so like that open socket, kind of similar to this little elf girl here. Uh, because a lot of them, when you look at a lot of the Azone dolls, it is, it's already just like a painted face on there. Um, but it's interesting to see that they're starting to branch out that way as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do for you guys now is that I'm going to go ahead and put them side by side so that way you can see what the Obitsu body looks like compared to the Azone body. Just keep in mind that both companies offer different 
body types and body styles and stuff like that. So this isn't like an all end type like thing, you know, it really depends on which one you get because I could go further and further into Obitsu's, um, which by the way, if you haven't seen my other Obitsu videos, I know I have some, uh, they're kind of old, but um, I kind of go in depth all about like the different Obitsu bodies and stuff like that. Um, but just so you can kind of take a look at what they look like side by side because it's really, I think it's really important to see the bodies. So funny side story, um, as I was taking the dolls apart and I took the clothes off of this one, I noticed it was a boy body, which is funny because I was like, I thought it was a girl's body this whole time because I had her dress, but whatever. Anyway, so if you wanted to see the boy's body, this is a smaller boy's body um, that's here. But um, let's take a look at, at these two that are over here because I guess these are the most similar that I have um, side by side. You can see on the top of the head, they have a... Um, like this part here that will, it's like the neck piece that you kind of go ahead and you put the the soft vinyl head through, you pop it into there. Um, again, like I said, I kind of manhandled that one to take it off, but the easiest way is just to kind of apply a little bit of heat to it. You just get like a blow dryer and then you heat it up a little bit. Um, and then it's really easy just to kind of pop back on. So I'm just gonna twist, there we go. So her head's back on. Same thing for this one. Oh, that's a huge neck hole for this. We're just gonna pop that back on. Give a little twist. Twist and turn, and she's back on too. All right, so side by side, like I said, it's kind of hard to do a comparison with this because both of the companies offer so many different kinds of bodies and body type, like styles and stuff like that. I just think it'd be kind of cool for us to kind of like look at them though, and just to kind of see because pretty much they're kind of all the same. Um, if you want to see like a plastic one, so like this is the soft vinyl and then this is the like plastic, the ABS plastic. So I, I don't know, like the, the feel of like the A-Zones, when I first got her in, like I said, she was like a gift from, from somebody that sent her to me. Um, I thought it was really interesting because it is way different than the soft vinyl that they have in the Obitsus. It's got kind of like a matte feel to it, so there's not really like a shine. I read somewhere like on a forum, like if you wanted to achieve the same thing, you could do the same thing on like Obitsus if you sand it down, but I've never tried that before. But I did think that that was really neat um, how they had that for the A-Zones. It just has like a different feel to it. I don't know if like it stains less than like a soft vinyl would, but I do know for a fact, the soft vinyl you can actually see right here on her chest, it does stain quite easily. So you have to be very careful with soft vinyl, um, which is kind of why I kind of like this ABS because I know this, this is like, you know, so almost like indestructible. Overall, I mean, I it's hard to say. Like, I don't think I would ever be like, you know, one is better than the other. Um, I definitely feel like it's a different doll for sure when you're when you're playing with like A zones at this scale. Um, and they have such just it's so s smooth and like clean looking. Like, it's it looks so nice like everything is just like melded in together super finely down to you know like our knees that look super smooth when they bend and when they're straight um our obitsu friends they kind of have like a different look to them for sure when you look at them without their clothes and stuff like that but they can move i think that's the really cool part about it and then of course um the other cool feature that they do offer in some of the obitsu bodies is the the magnet in the feet which kind of you know gives me even more posability but i think it's a definitely it, it's a different kind of doll but i definitely don't think it is your typical fashion doll 
especially since the price you're paying for them is a lot more than a typical like Barbie. I feel like it's a, you know, separate, you know, hobby collectors piece in itself. Um, I know sometimes Obitsu gets melded into like standard BJDs and A-Zones are usually typically held as off-topic dolls. But I think the reason why is just, you know, they're just so unique. Like they're like, they're definitely a doll on their own, you know? I would love to see like a larger one, to be honest with you. I would love to see like the one-third scale ones just cause I would be curious as to seeing like what their bodies look like and stuff. But I, I, again, I don't think one is better than the other. I think they both have their their positive like points. If anything, like I think if somebody was going to be starting off in this size category of dolls, I would still almost try to suggest them towards Obitsu dolls just because it's a lot more affordable to like start off getting a blank like obitsu put together than it would be to get an a zone i think but then again like it really depends on where you get your a zone from because you can actually find a zones on the um there's a very special like secondhand market uh called mandarake and um they have a lot of a zones there that you can get secondhand for like a cheaper price than buy them brand new out of the box so which do you prefer Azones or Obitsus, tell me in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget that we do also have our blog, which is www.bjdlife.com, where I'll go ahead and I'll be putting up a full in-depth article of Obitsus versus Azones. I hope this video was helpful if you were curious about Azones and Obitsu dolls. As always, I hope you have a dolly-tastic day, and I can't wait to see you in another video soon. Bye.